Hello everyone and welcome to my channel, Advice to Think Twice. My name is Monica and I'm here with a monthly uh, short overview of um, March 2016. This reading is for Taurus. I've decided to start doing monthly readings for you just to give you a glimpse at uh, the energies that may be playing out during the month for you, okay? Uh, so we have one card for each week or it will be just overall energies that you're dealing with at any point during the week, during the month, sorry. Um, I hope these uh, monthly readings give you some additional uh, insight. I'm still going to be doing the bi-weeklies for the first half and the second half of um, March as well. And so hopefully between these three readings combined for each sign, you'll have a pretty good idea of what's going on. Please remember these are general readings, okay? So uh, they may um, apply to you uh, in their entirety or in part or not at all, okay? Um, it's impossible to cover every potential situation uh, for absolutely everybody watching, okay? So please be mindful of that. Uh, what you can do is watch your sun and moon, moon and rising uh, signs videos, okay? And hopefully that will give you a bit more clarity of what's coming in for you, okay? In, um, you know, using these general energies. Okay, so Taurus, uh, March 2016 for you. Um, it looks like we're going through a bit of a rough patch, but I really feel like it's it has more to do with your fears than um, actual situations that you should be worried about, okay? Because first card we have, so this could be the first week of uh, March 2016, we have the Eight of Swords. Okay, and the Eight of Swords is the card of us feeling trapped, feeling stuck, not seeing options, okay, that are there for us, but we're not seeing them because we are either blindfolded or um, just confused or just overtaken by our fears and our worst nightmares, okay? Um, so the, the Eight of Swords is when you think you're stuck, but the thing with the Eight of Swords, it is a Swords card, so that's mental energy, okay? So that is, it's telling you that you may be dealing with some difficulties during this time, but it is not as bad as you think it is, okay? And you do have support available to you, and I'm going to get to that. So during the first week of March 2016, it may look like, you're stuck, like nothing's happening, nothing's going on, you want things to happen, nothing's happening, you get anxious, you get stressed, you get paranoid, and then you just feel like you're stuck in this box and you can't see your way out, okay? Just pay attention to that, okay? And if you find yourself going in that direction, just, you know, hone it in, take a deep breath, and just remember that it's not as bad as you think, it's not as bad as you think, okay? Things are working out. It may just be that you're not seeing them unfolding before you just yet, okay? So be mindful of that, okay? Second card we have is the Nine of Wands. And this ties in with the Eight of Swords as well because the Nine of Wands talks about your anxiety, okay? The Nine of Wands is a card that appears when we have been burnt in the past and we have our guard up now, okay? So it deals with anxieties. Um, it's more of a restless energy rather than um, the mental energy of you running scenarios in your head, okay? So with the Nine of Wands, it could be the same kind of energy where you're restless and impatient because you're not seeing anything happening, but that is because it's happening behind the scenes, okay? So it's not ready to manifest in front of you just yet, okay? and you may be getting impatient and you may be getting anxious. Again, the card is telling you to have patience and have faith that everything is working out the way it's meant to happen, okay? And it is happening, okay? Things are happening because, see, on each of the wands that are behind you, you have growth, you have flowers, okay? So things are happening, things are moving, things are progressing, things are expanding for you. It's just behind you, okay? You're not looking at it. So don't be anxious and stressed. There's no reason for you to be that way. It will just get you to make yourself sick because it will stress can make you sick, okay? So again, 
whatever situation you're dealing with, just know, first of all, it's not as bad as it seems to you at this time. Secondly, things are happening, it's just behind the scenes. So you need to be patient, take a deep breath, be patient, focus on something else while these things manifest, okay? Third card we have is the Five of Pentacles. And again, the Five of Pentacles also talks about a lack mentality, a poverty mentality, okay? Feeling left out in the cold, feeling abandoned, feeling like no one's there to support you, no one is there to have your back, to understand you, to give you a hand. More clearly in the Five of Pentacles than any of these cards is uh, your focus. The card is talking about your focus. You need to change your focus. With the five of pentacles, yes, you're feeling left out. Yes, you're feeling like you don't have what it takes. You don't have the resources. You don't have the time. You don't have the money. You're on your own. There's no one there to help you. But if you just turn around, there's that beautiful door. It's got pentacles on it and all around it. And that is talking about the support that is available to you if you just want to see it, okay? If you just turn around and allow it to come forth for you, okay? So this is telling me that towards the end of the month, and I really feel like a lot of you are gonna take this advice and a lot of you are gonna keep your eyes open for any kind of options that may be coming in and any people that may be offering to help you or offering to give you support or even extending opportunities for you to take you know, um, advantage of, and I really feel like things are going to turn around for you, and then the Five of Pentacles is going to turn into, it, it will go from feeling left out in the cold to feeling, okay, okay, I've got people there, I've got people to support me, I've got opportunities to, you know, take advantage of, and I do have resources available to me, okay, I just have to change my focus and allow for new opportunities to come in. And then towards the end of the month, we have the Six of Cups. So this is really feeling like joy is coming back into your life. Okay, so towards the end of the month, things are going to be working out for you just fine. I really feel like this has a lot to do with accepting the Five of Pentacles opportunities, the Five of Pentacles support, turning around, changing your focus, allowing for people to help you. This may be your friends, this may be people in your family or people you even grew up with okay that are coming in to give you the support and I really feel like you're accepting their help and they're even just if it's just kind words like a pep talk and that completely changes your perspective okay and you go from stressing and being anxious and not seeing any options going to feeling happy and enjoying yourself Okay, focusing on you, focusing on what makes you smile like a child, focusing on what makes you laugh and have a good time. And I really feel like that changes the energy around you completely, okay? So whatever situation you're dealing with that is keeping you up at night, that is stressing you out, that is making you feel afraid that things are not going to happen for you, remember, it's not as bad as you think. And remember that things are moving and then you will have opportunities coming in for you and people who want to support you and help you and move you in the right direction. And once you change your focus, okay, and you allow for these things to happen, then you're gonna have joy coming into your life again, okay? And you're gonna be carefree and just enjoying yourself, okay? I'm getting health is gonna be restored for you also, okay? If that is a health issue, okay? And forewarned is forearmed, so if you watch this now and you already feel like this is where the energy is going to take you, um, you can just change that right now by just skipping up, you know, a few cards and getting to the Five of Pentacles where you change your perspective, okay? And that will be a completely different month for you. What you need to know most for March 2016, you have Flower Power. Spend time with flowers and flower essences to increase your personal healing power, okay? So for some of you, this is a health issue. And I think it's really nice that both these cards have flowers in them, okay? And the Six of Cups was coming in as your health being restored. So that is telling me that if you do have a health issue, try alternative solutions, okay? Like a holistic 
um, holistic treatments or try um, anything with aromatherapy would be good anything with candles anything to do with scents okay as in you know smell um, and that would help you a lot the card is also telling me that what you need to know is it's important for you to relax okay it's important for you to take a spa day if you can go out in nature spend time with um, around water around trees around flowers especially okay and that's gonna help you calm down that's gonna help you recharge your batteries as well and it's gonna give you more power more strength to deal with whatever may be coming your way during the month of March okay but it is a month where healing is coming in you need to know that and it may come from an alternative source than what you have been trying or what you have been considering for some of you okay because for, for others of you you're already on this path with um, that will get you to this you know health being restored solution okay so um, that is what is coming across for you Taurus okay for March 2016 I hope the messages of the cards resonate with you and I hope they give you some guidance um, if they do please let me know please let me know if you find these readings helpful even though you know they're like a snippet they're just a short overview of what energies we may be dealing with um, you're gonna get more detail out of the bi-weeklies definitely um, so yeah let me know if the reading helps you let me know how your month goes if things are working out for you and again just keep positive okay stay positive because it's gonna work out for you um, and uh, yeah so please like share and subscribe thank you for your support if you're interested in private readings please check out the about section on my youtube channel or email me directly at advice to think twice at gmail.com okay thank you for being here with me take care of yourself and i'll talk to you soon take care